Hi guys, I'm Samina and welcome to the Cupcake Confession where I show you how you can learn to make amazing decadent desserts and sweet treats. If this is something that you enjoy, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And while you do that, also don't forget to ding this little bell button. That way you will be notified every time I post a new recipe. Today we're combining the classic flavors of chocolate, ginger and orange into this cupcake. So we have a really decadent devil's food cupcake sponge and this is frosted with a fresh ginger buttercream frosting. And this entire cupcake is then topped with these orange marshmallows that we learned to make some time back. And this entire cupcake is also generously drizzled with some orange marmalade. They are extremely decadent and Delicious cupcakes, perfect for winter time. Here's how you make them. We'll begin by preheating the oven to 160C or 320F. Now we'll make our cocoa mix. So here I have some cocoa powder and to that I've added some instant coffee powder and now I'm adding hot boiling water to create a thick cocoa sludge or a mix, liquid mix. Uh, I like to use Dutch processed cocoa because it has a very nice rich cocoa flavor. It's also unsweetened so make sure you use unsweetened cocoa powder. After stirring it rigorously you'll see that it gets really uniform and homogenous. Now we'll keep this aside because we want this to cool down to room temperature. Meanwhile we'll start making our cupcake batter. So here I have all of my dry ingredients. So this is all purpose flour to that I'm adding some baking powder and baking soda and finally now I'm adding some caster sugar as well now after i've added all of these into the sieve i'm going to sift this sift this into a clean bowl and uh, this helps aerate the dry ingredients slightly so it helps create a really light batter now we are going to whisk all of these dry ingredients so they combine well on low speed using electric beaters don't go any more than low because the flour will fly everywhere now to this I'm going to add my softened salted butter which is at room temperature. Make sure that it's a little soft because otherwise it will be really difficult for it to mix well with the dry ingredients. Um, I have used salted butter but if you're using unsalted butter then also add a pinch of salt to your dry ingredients mix. That helps add a beautiful flavor to your cupcakes especially because uh, salt uh, when added to chocolate or dark chocolate really intensifies the chocolate flavor. Now I'm going to add the egg into this mix and first on low speed I'll mix just until it's well combined and once it is combined well I'm going to increase the speed to medium and keep beating this until this is what it begins to look like. Uh, I'll beat this for about two minutes then I'll add vanilla extract and then first on low speed I'll mix until everything is combined and then increase the speed to medium and beat for one minute. Now I'm going to add this cool to room temperature cocoa mix that we made earlier on and once I've poured that in on a very low speed first I'll mix this until the liquid mixes with the rest of the batter because if you go up on medium or high speed it's just going to splatter everywhere and make a mess. Now I like to keep beating this for two minutes. I like to scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl as well with a spatula just to make sure all the ingredients are coming together really nicely. Now I'm going to Pour this cupcake batter using my ice cream scoop into a muffin tray which I have lined with cupcake liners. I like to go a little about three quarters of the way through. They bake really well in the oven and then they settle down uh, creating a really subtle dome which is just perfect for these cupcakes. Now these will go into the oven at 160C or 320F for about 22 to 23 minutes. A skewer or a knife inserted in the center must emerge clean. Once it does, you take these cupcakes out of the oven and let it cool down on the kitchen countertop till it comes down to room temperature. While that's happening, uh, we have our buttercream frosting here. So this is the boiled milk buttercream frosting. The recipe link is down in the description box below. And there will also be a link appearing on the screen right about now, which will take you to that recipe. It's one of the most luxurious buttercreams with intense amount of control over the sweetness. And I really hope that you adopt this buttercream the way I have. To this, I'm going to add some freshly grated ginger. Uh, I like to add about a teaspoon of it, but if you like more ginger or less ginger flavor, you can just adjust accordingly. Just taste the buttercream and see what you feel like. Then on just medium speed, I'll mix it until well combined. I'll then put this into a piping bag which is fitted with a round tip. I'll uh, make a swirly pattern just so it helps create a good stable base 
for my orange marshmallows so once i have piped uh, this buttercream i'm going to take my orange marshmallow now the orange marshmallow again i had showed you uh, the video a few weeks back and the recipe will be down in the description box and also up on the screen right about now uh, these are really intensely orangey and they are so so delicious you won't your friends won't believe that you made these at home they are that that amazing and um, you will then top this or drizzle some melted orange marmalade uh, onto the marshmallows so it just adds a rich intense orange flavor and all of these flavors together pair so impeccably well you just have to give these a go and make them um, they are perfect with coffee or tea or anything any beverage warm beverage that you prefer you can easily even plop these marshmallows into your coffee or hot chocolate and savor the cupcake with the chocolate and the ginger buttercream i really hope you give these a go if you have any comments or suggestions pop them down in the comments below i post a new recipe every tuesday and thursday so if this is something that you enjoy and if you want to be notified every time i post a new recipe then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you do that also don't forget to ding this little bell button i'll see you again next time bye